Hey, audiobook lovers. Welcome back to Audiobooks Reviewed. I'm going to pick a topic and choose three audiobooks that I've listened to in the past. I will give my honest feedback and rate them all in the end. Today's category is nonfiction history, and I'm reviewing The Vietnam War by Jeffrey C. Ward and Ken Burns, Homefront, Life in America During World War II by Martin Sheen and Dan Gediman, and The Blood of Emmett Till by Timothy C. Tyson. So the first book is The Vietnam War. The book runtime is 31 hours and 15 minutes. And if it were a movie, it would be rated R. The Vietnam War is an expensive story about the complete history of, well, you probably guessed it, the Vietnam War. In the end of the saga, a little over 50,000 US soldiers lost their lives during the Vietnam War. And I don't even want to think about how many were wounded or mentally broken. My point is, you know the end of this story, so you can't help but cringe when you see the many failures of numerous leaders that led to it. Throughout the book, the author recites the actual words and responses that were said at the time. You constantly hear different presidents and leaders say things like, we lost 10,000 troops during this conflict and enough is enough. Or we lost 20,000 troops and I say no more. And you can't help but to think, oh no, it's not over yet. Ken Burns does an excellent job of taking you back to that era and understanding the mindsets of all the players that were involved. I heard of Vietnam as far back as I can remember, and God knows I've seen enough movies about it, but this book has managed to educate me way beyond the scope of what I've already known before. Also, this book was written in the past decade, which gives the author the privilege of hindsight. I believe at this point, all vital government records were released and recorded dialogues have been archived. The story from the Vietnamese perspective was a story of the country's liberation and persistence to see it through. Leaders were continuously surprised on the Vietnamese resistance and ingenuity, and all I could think about was my own country's liberation. At what point would we as Americans gave up on making the United States an independent nation? I don't think we ever would have. Not to mention at home at this time, we had our own serious issues to work out. I knew at the time during the Vietnam conflict, we had our own issues to work out at home, but I had no idea on how divided the country actually was because of this war. I rate this book a nine out of 10. The second book is Homefront, Life in America during World War II. The book runtime is various because it's not exactly as a book, it's more like an episodic podcast, but I'm still counting it. And if this were a movie, I would rate it PG-13. The Homefront is another book about war, but this time it's World War II. However, instead of learning about the history of a war in a far off land, this book focuses on how America was affected from World War II. This one is very different because they've embedded live recordings of what was said all throughout the book. You can hear statements and concerns as politicians debated if we needed to enter the war and the emotional pain and anger that was felt when our country was invaded. The book really comes to life with Martin Sheen as the host as he takes you back to a time that had way more issues than what is usually shown in movies. I will rate this book a nine out of 10. The third book is The Blood of Emmett Till. The book runtime is eight hours and 35 minutes and if this were a movie, I would rate it R. From the outside looking in, you could look at The Blood of Emmett Till as a pretty simple story. I mean, a lot of people know that Emmett Till was a young black boy that was brutally tortured and murdered after whistling to a white girl and his killers were exonerated. However, this book paints a much more vivid picture. It tells the story of a society in which we could have a completely biased jury in a supposed unbiased system. The case was clear cut with eyewitnesses and minimal denial from the perpetrators and yet no convictions. You also learn about the socioeconomics of the Deep South and the land of Chicago where he was from. 
Although locals may have viewed the court case as a small local issue, the book helps you see the full impact of the case, the world's view on the matter, and the genius and courage of Emmett Till's mother that made all the difference. I rate this book a 10 out of 10. Well, that's all I have for now. If you agree or disagree, feel free to comment in the section below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. Bye for now.